Free TV in association with getoutofdebtfree.org. Hmm. Failed. Oh, I'm sorry, I dozed off. Uh, Where's right. the agent gone? Which agent? Our agent that looks after us. Quiet lady? Yeah. Let's see, because of security, uh, because of the courthouse? Do you know that the G4S was there yesterday? Yeah, yeah, I did, I did notice that. And I think they actually uh, hurt a guy. They did. The the security... Security? Private security. <laughs> yeah, they pushed him and punched him in the stomach in front of the police and on camera. So we have a film of that? We, we, we do. Let me just check. Yes, I do have the cassette. Cool, good, that's... Now, interestingly, that caused a little bit of upset because obviously people nowadays everyone wants to stand up for their their uh, rights or, or whatever you want to call them and so everyone said to the police can you arrest that man for assault and battery of that that chap how did it work out the police just did nothing um, and then it got a little bit excitable well I was there yesterday and if I had to describe the face of the police officers I would say three things they looked uh, terrified absolutely they looked guilty of something and they looked like they wish they had taken a week of vacation I, I well you'll see that in the video because as the day progressed and there were a couple there was just two two cops there originally and then it went to four and then by the time they'd um, played around it it was I think they had a dozen in the doorway uh, and then half a dozen over at the magistrates court and as the, as the day progressed I actually went and filmed all of the faces of them because you could see they were absolutely terrified would it be did you see that again I don't think it'll work this time but the quiet lady has a woman over mm. there a code name Helen yeah and uh, so she's not working I think we're safe but uh, have you heard the name Tom Crawford I rings a bell I think the court event was about him and an illegal a, uh, illegal eviction from his own home mm -hmm. and that's why I came over here from the United States because in the United States on one occasion where someone was evicted from their own home it was me and so I take this personally and I don't think it's a matter of within the borders of the UK or the US I think it's a global problem mm -hmm. and I'm I'm not the brightest light in the ball but I think it's the central bankers that are foisting this evil upon us that sounds about right and uh, just so happens we're at the outside the the oldest inn in England. I refer to that as the old trip to Jerusalem, and the I oldie, off the top of my head, ye oldie trip to Jerusalem. Oh yes, well actually, ye oldie trip to Jerusalem. That's what I said. And it's funny because they have a lot of uneven stones there. And when I was going in, I tripped a couple times, and when I was coming out after 19 pints, uh, I found it easier to trip. <laughs> uh, but fortunately I didn't fall because had I fallen I would have been injured on my trip from the United States to Nottingham to watch the court abuse and I hope it turns out that I'm judging the court action wrong because they haven't come up with their decision I understand they email here well it's very rare that this happens and this is only my opinion of course but I believe two there was two reasons why the judge decided that and let's not forget of course he was actually an hour and a half late turning up for the case mm. um, now, of course, if we'd have been late, they'd have ruled against us immediately. Mm -hmm. However, because the judge decided that he was going to be late, I, mean, I heard a rumor that somebody had to pull him off a boy or a little boy or something along those lines. Well, it was Operation Crowbar, because as you're aware in Greece, if you want to separate the men from the boys, you have to use a crowbar. And so if you're suggesting that the judge is sympathetic to pedophiles, it would not surprise anybody in the colonies in the least. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't think it would, no. Um, so, my uh, two two uh, but reasons. That this is only my opinion, of course, as to why he deferred judgment. The first one, I believe, would be he was probably a little bit worried that the amount of men and women that were outside would have stormed the building and gone to arrest him. And uh, uh, the reason I say this is when that chap got uh, assaulted and battered by the G4S private security guard. Um, everyone was upset and pointed out that they need the police that it was happened right in front of needed to arrest him did nothing and so they got a little bit agitated at that point and things pushed forward slightly uh, however on the back of that they allegedly did arrest the G4S guy and took him into custody 
So I think the judge, uh, when that happened, the judge actually heard the furor, mm -hmm. got up and ran out of the court. And I think that's because he thought that we were storming the building to arrest him. 